welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go on the hill here today, Kyle Gibson. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Inside almost got him. Two and two. Comes and misses. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball drop a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Brandon Nimmo. One down, base is empty. Two balls, one strike. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. Here comes a pinch. Right through there for a strike. The 2-2. In the air, left field. Coming on is Pham to make the play. Two away down. Here's a Mets lineup now. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Francisco Alvarez. Just really solid numbers. He's coming off of a month where he hit over 350. So when you talk about solid at bats, taking the walks, driving in some runs, he's doing it all right now. Two outs, space is empty. And now J.D. Martinez. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball, two strikes. Two outs, space is empty. This one in the air. And Martinez is out. And that'll do it. Down in order, go the Mets. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. There's no score. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. And on the mound in this one, Luis Severino. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. That's down and in. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. I think he was sitting off speed there. That's a little bit low. Bounced up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. On target. He got him. Nice play. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. 
The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Severino kicks deals. Wait on that fastball. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Off the mark there. And that's ball two. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So the cards are kept quiet through one. On to the second from St. Louis on the show. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second. Here's Pete Alonso. Since debuting in 2019, no player in the majors has hit more homers than Pete Alonso. Swings and misses. One That's ball. strike two. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Whips it to first. Two up, two down. The third base is Mark. Viento. Two out, space is empty. And now it's Mark Vientos. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Helpful. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, oh, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get yeah, back yeah, into yeah, that yeah. dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Here's the veteran second baseman. Two outs. And it's strike two. Side edge. It's two and two. And a good eye there. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. Out towards right center field. New bar on the move. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Met strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. Bottom half of inning number two. Now up for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. Pitch misses, and the count is three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter did not offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Tommy Pham. 
And a pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. That is good. The second baseman. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. And the right hander deals. Strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. At the belt and fires. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. Wouldn't chase that time. Looks like extra bases. Arenado makes the turn at second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Second and third, one gone. At the play, Lars Newtbar. That misses. And the count is three and one. Kicks and deals. And they're all oh. loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Bird. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. One down. Pedro Pajas digs in now. And a pitch. Check swing didn't go. And a count two and one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That one misses. Three and one. James Kingsley, a plate umpire. Consistent, as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. And here it comes. Hey. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Line drive, base hit. One runs in. A second scores as well. It's two zip. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Anytime you win the line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Two on, one out. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Michael Ciani. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple of runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Clips the corner. Well, in this situation with the runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best okay. pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Severino goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. And the righty deals. Almost got him.
Two on, two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And down on strikes. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. End of two here at Bush Stadium. It's the Cardinals two, and the Mets nothing. Top half of the third inning. Now here is Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Fly ball to right. And there's one down. Tyrone Taylor up this now for the Mets. Tyrone Taylor. One down, base is empty. Hey. On the outside corner, and the count is one and two. And another ball. The Mets trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That misses, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And it's through for a hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. He was all over that one. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. There's a strike. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he deals. The other way. Calls it in to a way. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. Ground ball up the middle. Win. They take the force out, and that's the third out. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Cardinals two and the Mets nothing. Back here at Bush Stadium, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH, Wilson Contreras. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Foul ball still a one and two count. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because this one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses oh. to first. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. Yeah, it's yeah. early, but you the still want to move the runner up and no give way. your team a chance to score. Oh, no, 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 That's no. exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Runner on at third. One gone. And another ball. Okay. 
And a pitch. And it goes oh, just foul. foul. Next offering is downstairs. Righty to the plate. Now this is in the air down the line. And that's a foul ball. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Severino with another strikeout. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two now strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, this is tough. You're looking to protect the two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Tommy Pham next up for the Cardinals. Outside oh, low. Now three and one. He was out front. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Rip to short. Tosses across the first. And that is that. So they work around the leadoff double. On to inning number four. It's the Cardinals two and the Mets nothing. Back here in St. Louis, John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, J.D. Martinez. But you want. JD swinging a drive. Deep left field. That's back there. And out of here. His 12th of the season, and they've got their first run. It's 2 1. That gives this offense something to celebrate for the first time in this one. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. That's in there, and a count one and two. Oh, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. That one missing inside. Nobody on, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. That one missed. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Kicks and fires. And he walked it. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really the close bat. pitches and right somehow Boogie found yeah, a way yeah. to keep the bat on his shoulder the right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Left hand hitter waits. And that one fouled off. And a ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Here's the third baseman, Mark Vientos. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. The 3 1. 
There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Right hander kicks deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two strike slider, start it middle away, let it break and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with the cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, but I think he was also a little lucky right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Two outs. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in St. Louis, bottom of the fourth, now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Donovan. On the ground. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. A couple of hits in a row for like him here. Let's get the ball by the pitcher. There's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. And a foul ball. Donovan aboard here at first with nobody out. Stays alive. The pitch. And another ball. Roll to short. Possible two ball. There's one. Over to Alonzo. Double play. Pretty lengthy at bat right there. And usually the hitter wins that battle after seeing so many pitches. But instead, the exact opposite, or maybe even worse than that, grounds into a double play. Tough at bat to swallow. And now here is Pedro Pajes. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That two one balls, misses. Two ball two. Ground ball right side. Alonso throws the first oh. in time. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. And we're back. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. One two now. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down. I got this. Tyrone Taylor now at the plate. A little bit low. The 
The Cardinals up by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Just nope. missed. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And that one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Brandon Nimmo will hit next. Right side. Over to Goldie. And that is the inning. Mets leave one, and our score remains 2-1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Michael Ciani. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Ground ball to the right side. Steps on Got first it. for the out. Now batter, shortstop, Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes Two all balls, the plays. One strike. The shortstop takes a ball. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. That one down the line, and foul ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Great on that fastball. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can make it. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Redbirds down quietly. They lead it 2 1. Andre Palante taking over on the mound. And he's been really shutting down hitters now, from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact. Not a lot of hits. Period. J.D. Martinez stands in. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ball game. Yeah, Boogie. He didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. And another ball. Two and one to JD. Basketball for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Andrew Kittridge getting ready to go. King warming up as well. Right handed reliever. 
Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Got him swinging. Barry showing a lot of conviction with the fastball there. Not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there and it gets away and it hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch. Now, Pete that's Alonso. And that's downstairs and outside. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. And that's oh, outside. That. And now three and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. One down, base is empty. Eight. And there's a strike. Count of three and two. In the air, left field. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left yeah, fielder yeah. be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Jeff McNeil stands in. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Fan sizes this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. Now got it. Third base, Mark Vientos. Mark Vientos, the next to hit. Pretty deep out to center field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Heart of the order, 3 4 5 coming up. It's the Cardinals 2 and the Mets 1. Back now, now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Oscar Brazobar. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Lewis. Lewis. The first, first, first base hit. Paul Goldschmidt. Here's a 1 1. And another ball. Damn. You know, these Cardinals putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Two two now. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now, now a really nice job base staying base. up the middle with his approach. No, no, no. He didn't try to do too oh, much no, with no, the no, pitch. No. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Nolan Arenado. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Phil Maytop appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. The one two. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Couple of singles back to back. Just here. kept it simple. Played no, no, no. in the middle of the infield and took there. it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now the left fielder, Tommy Fan. Double steal. 
On the ground to short. Lindor tosses the first. One away. Bottom of the sixth. Boone gets a good at bat simply now, because they found that, a way to move both runners on the base. Now they're in a really good spot with two runners in scoring position. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. This is the classic manufacturing a run situation. A runner at third, less than two outs, and a golden opportunity to bring him home. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One ball. Tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. The one-two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The right fielder, number three. Lars Newtbar, next up for the Cardinals. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. The catcher. Two outs, bases full. Pedro Pajes, next up for the Cardinals. Goldie, the runner at third. Arenado on second. Newt Bar on at first with two down. That's and it. another All ball. Two. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Two outs. And fouled off. Comes a 2-2. Now he breaks his bat. Toss to Alonzo. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So three left for St. Louis, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. Top of inning number seven. Here's the second baseman, number 11. Ball Next down. offering down low and in the dirt. We got two balls, one strike. Hey. Late on that fastball. Well, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Just nope. missed. Holding on to a one run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. Ripped on a line. And it gets by him. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second safely. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Mets. So the tying run at second. And it's second. Into the outfield. Base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, a 
swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Andrew Kittredge into the game. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Back to the top of the Mets order. Here's Francisco Lindor. Two on, one out. And a count one and two. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The pitch. That one in the dirt. And the count's even at two. And this is inside. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. My drive breaks a base hit. In to score from third. And this game is tied in the seventh. He's in there. Picks himself up an RBI. Really important at bat coming up now. Grand Go ahead, run on base, and now Brandon Nimmo. Left hand batter waits. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Now it's J.D. Martinez. Righty delivers. In for a strike, and it's one and two. Two on, two outs. And oh, another ball. Right. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh, Phil Maton. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Now batting Michael Ciani. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Close, but called a ball. Two and one. That's oh. down and in. And the three one. And a foul ball left side. Around first, heading for two. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So the lineup flips over. Digging in, Mason Wynn. The 1-1. One -one. There's a swing and a miss. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. 
And that one hit to first. He'll do it himself. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance now to drive in the go-ahead run. Hit. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Right, right, right. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. One and two here. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, that's a huge strikeout no, right there. Big crazy. second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. And now the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt, and the pitch. Swing, and he popped it up. Alonso should have this one. Brings it in for the third out. So one left for the Cardinals. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Welcome now, back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Kyle number Leahy. Three. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. Yeah, the batter now, Pete Alonso. The first base. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game Alonso. with one swing. That's and another ball. That was feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Jeff McNeil up next for the Mets. 3-1 now. And that's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for yeah, up there. So a change being made at first base. Mets going with a pinch runner, Harrison Bader. No outs, runner at first. And now here's Jeff McNeil. The 1 1. And a sack bun here. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. At the belt and fires. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And stepping in for New York, Mark Vientos. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. And we're at the top of the eighth. And the next pitch is way outside. Right through there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Move to first. And he's back in easily. Bader runs. Pitch misses. Throw. Save. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. That's a strikeout. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Now it's the second baseman. And the right-hander deals. And that skips into dirt. The 2-1. And the slider just misses. Francisco Alvarez waiting to hit for the Mets. 
Two down. Go ahead, run and score in position. This one in the air. Arnado moving under this one. And that's the third out. Mets strand one. Score remains 2-2. Two -two. So coming into the game now on defense, Ben Gamble. He takes over as the new first baseman. Here's Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy's at the top of the list. Yeah, the righty deals. This guy oh plays God. third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play to throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Next offering is in for a strike. That one miss. Tommy Fan waiting for a turn at the plate. Kicks and deals. That's hard hit in the line. He's got it. One up, one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly oh, all yeah, over it, but sometimes you hit it no too way. hard and right at someone. No You're looking for one of those loop hits Fair. to get a knock sometimes. And up next for St. Louis, Tommy Pham. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Well, come and Good get strength. me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. And a pitch. Fam on the move. Strike in there. Throw to second. Ow! Well, that's just a good baseball player right there. I mean, pretty good jump off the pitcher, I'd say, and good catch and throw by the catcher. And I think if you did that ten times, half the time the guy might be safe, the other half probably out. Two down, nobody on. Bows it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Two oh. balls, two strikes to count with two outs. <laughs> All tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Wouldn't chase that time. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Back here at Bush Stadium, we go to the ninth. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. The wind of the pitch. Ball four. He walked in, and that keeps things going. Go ahead, run on base. And now the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. And he deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Fired to second. Back to first. And that is a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5 4 3 double play get thrown. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. So the batting order turns over, and the batter will be the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to Gordy. Lindor retired. And that is that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Bottom